from bridges above interstates to the city center. The nation's third largest city has 25,000 teachers picketing and protesting, while 350,000 kids are out of school. We need um, fair pay. We need um, pay for time worked, not just, you know, something they're willing to throw at us. It's the first time in 25 years. Chicago teachers walked out of classrooms in a bitter contract dispute with the city. A lot of the teachers don't feel that they should be evaluated too heavily on student scores because we can't control what happens out of the classroom, which is a big deal. And to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God. With an average annual salary of $76,000, Chicago teachers are among the highest paid in the nation. The city had offered a 16% pay raise over four years and a longer school day. But negotiators have really been divided on two main issues, job security and teacher evaluations. This was a strike of choice, a bad choice for our children and not necessary. While the school district faces a $700 million deficit, the mayor's office is trying to extract more concessions from the union. Cheryl Slotnick, striking with her grandkids beside her, has been teaching in Chicago for over 30 years and thinks the strike a quarter century ago does not compare. I think the situation is more dire now as far as what teachers are expected to do. Um, so I think it's actually our working conditions are worse than they were. Are you going to strike until we win a fair contract? While some teachers shouted into bullhorns and held out colorful signs, some parents found themselves in a bind, like Brett Vershbo, who was out enjoying the sunshine with her daughter, but hoping that school starts again very soon. It's pretty sad right now because she just started, she had four days last week, and she was just getting acclimated to her new classroom and her new teacher. Some schools staffed non-union workers and opened their doors to students with no place to go, feeding them breakfast and lunch. Mayor Rahm Emanuel posed for a photo op at one of them. Then he talked with the press. I appreciate what we're talking about, but I want people to understand this is a crux of whether we're going to make the improvements in our education of our children and create a culture where people are held accountable for the results. Mayor Rahm Emanuel, who has engaged in a public and often contentious relationship with the teachers union, is not personally involved in the negotiations, but his aides are. We'll see how long this actually goes on. Robert Ray, Associated Press, Chicago.